Ne well, next to medication, exercise is the most common use therapy for Parkinson's. And with Parkinson's, people's muscles and that get stiff. Uh, they get rigid, so exercise, giving big movements out are the most important thing. That's why the Passion for Parkinson's Foundation started two exercise programs last year. Uh, we have AgeWise, which is this fitness program in this park running in Burlington and in Mississauga. And we have a walk pole walk that we run in various different parts, parks. This one, uh, we use this equipment here uh, because it's incredible. And we came down and we used it with our participants for the first time, uh, I'm going to say six weeks ago, and they fell in love with it. So we haven't left. We're, we're stuck here. <laughs> it gives a lot of variety for people. It just makes it fun to come out, and the setting is fantastic right here on the lake. The foundation has two coaches they've helped become Parkinson's Wellness Recovery Certified to run the programs. In Parkinson's, they start getting smaller and smaller movements and becoming less and less stable. So to counteract that, we do really big, big movements, power-up movements to, to, um, to, to uh, simulate having to get up out of a chair and sitting down so this is strengthened. So in the old adage of use it or lose it, so it doesn't really matter. We just, we're trying to use it and do big, big movements. Tamara knows the effect Parkinson's can have firsthand. Her husband's been living with it for 11 years. People with Parkinson's get isolated and they're very, very self-conscious about their physical condition, whether they have tremors. My husband doesn't have tremors, um, but some people have different symptoms. So this puts him in a comfortable position where he's more comfortable. He knows that no one's looking at him. There could be somebody worse off, somebody better off, but we're all on the play same playing ground, you know? It gives you more confidence. And something started? to look forward to okay. on our, so as our, we get together on together Tuesdays and Thursdays. This is my community. I didn't know any of these folks, and now we're a group and getting to be like a family. To give people with Parkinson's something to do, to get them out of isolation, and get them to know one another. We're forming a community. Our, our base line is to form a community, a Parkinson's community, where they we can go for lunch together, we can exercise together, we can go for Christmas dinners together, we can have park picnics together, um, but to basically form a community where everybody feels safe. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.